Hey, it's Coach Zach with Ultimate Baseball Train. Today's video, we're gonna go over seven different pitching drills that I wish I did years ago and why they can help you in your game. Let's get going. All right, the first one we're gonna do today is called an off the wall drill. You can do one of these at home, at the field, just find a, a wall or a fence or uh, any open space that you can, uh, you can do this. The point of this, if you have a problem falling off and your follow through, this is really gonna help you. It's gonna, it's gonna force you to stay in line. It's gonna force your body to feel that muscle memory that's gonna allow you to do that. So what we're gonna do, we're probably, we're gonna find a wall and get about six inches to a foot away from it. And all we're gonna do is just kind of go through, you know, 75, 80% speed um, on a dry throw. That way, so we make our throw and that way, if we obviously, if we don't hit the wall or don't fall into the wall, we know we're staying, we're staying over, over the, our center of mass. We're staying in line with our target. Um, what we don't want to, what we don't want to do, obviously, if we have a problem falling off to our glove side is fall down and hit the, and hit the wall. So as long as you can kind of repeat this and you don't have to go, uh, full speed with this, but just enough so you can form that muscle memory. That's going to allow you to stop doing this. So second drill we're going to do today, it's going to work on uh, our extension. So if you have a hard time really getting out all the way out to your release point or your short stride, this is really going to be beneficial for you. Um, this is called the towel drill. You can get just an old bath towel and uh, tape a golf ball into it. Or uh, in this case, you can get uh, just an old baseball sock and uh, put a ball in it. Just so something that you have something to, to grip on, to grab onto, but while also you have some slack to, uh, to see how far you can get out. So if you, if, you have a, if you have a partner, this will work out really well. If not, just find something or some, somewhere where you can uh, come in contact with some zoo just so you have a, a visualization on the progress that you're making. So imagine I have a, I have a partner right here. I'm just gonna go through my motion and see how far out I can get. Uh, just have him hold his, hold his glove out just like this, uh, just so you can come in contact with that when you're, when you're following through. Um, and then how we kind of measure the progress that we're making. So when you first, when you first start and he, he's at a point, I want, I want him to take just a very small step back every time you touch it. So, hope, so hopefully from your first rep into your last rep, you know, you're getting out, you're getting out on uh, extended about three or four more inches. That's gonna allow you to release the ball closer to the plate and it's gonna allow your pitch to make it look that much faster to the hitter. Uh, drill number three is gonna be our toe tap and go. Uh, this drill is really beneficial if you have a hard time really getting to a controlled, a controlled point on your leg lift, if you have a hard time balancing or when you ever you lift your leg, you feel, often feel yourself rushing because you're, you're not in a controlled position. This is really gonna help you. So um, this is a, you can find a wall, find a partner, find a net to throw into. Um, very, very light, per, low percentage throw. It's, you know, you don't have to throw more than 50%. The main point of this is just for your lower half mechanics and to be able to build a little bit more balance. So what we're going to do is we're, wherever our target is, we're just going to come up, come down, up, down, and then go. So that way, you know, we're, we're having a couple of seconds that, you know, we're trying to balance on that, on that pivot foot while also incorporating a throw with it too. So it makes it a little bit more realistic for whenever you do decide to get on the mound. Drill number four we're, that we're going to move on to, this is going to be our rocker drill. Uh, what this helps is whenever we land, we want to have really good hip to shoulder separation. That way we can almost, we can almost form a, a slingshot effect when we deliver the pitch. Um, a, a common problem is we have our shoulders and our hips moving uh, simultaneously. They're working together, but we want to make those work independent of each other. So this drill is really going to help that. And so wherever you, you have a target, if you have a partner, if you have a net, Either one works fine. Uh, another very low percentage throw. This is more about your lower body and your upper body mechanics. Um, so I want you to, to have uh, your back leg like it's on the rubber, uh, make it like it's parallel to a rubber. And then I want your, your uh, front foot, your lead foot pointing straight towards your target. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our, our hips are facing our target while our, our shoulders are, are facing towards, except for a, a right-handed right -handed pitcher so it would be facing towards third base or wherever direction you may be facing. And what we want to do is we want to rock forward, rock back, and then make the throw. We just want to be able to make sure that we can feel our, our hips and our shoulders 
working independently of each other. That's going to help us when we get back on the mound to hopefully throw the ball a lot harder. All right, drill number five that we're going to talk about today is our hip into a wall drill. Ideally, uh, you could have just a wall wherever, wherever that may be at practice at home. Uh, today we're going to work with this beam right here. Um, but the concept is to really, really work on and focus on leading down the mound with our, with our front hip. That's the most powerful way that we can get down the hill. That's going to lead into more velocity, and ultimately that's obviously what we want. So um, we want to find, find a pole or beam, a wall, and wherever you can. And we want to be probably about a foot, foot and a half away from it. And we just want to do, be very soft and just fall into that wall and making sure that the only thing that hits that wall is our front hip. Notice when I hit the wall, my shoulders aren't hitting it. My, my, the, my lower half is not hitting it. Only my hip is in contact with that. That tells me that I'm leading down the, the hill with my front hip and only my front hip. So my lower half mechanic, that's gonna put me in the best position possible to throw as hard as I can. Uh, these last two drills are gonna be dealing with front leg leverage, uh, what front leg leverage is. We wanna make sure that we finish on over, over top of our front foot when we finish. We wanna make sure that we're not finishing with a bent front knee. We wanna make sure that we get all of the energy and momentum out of our pitch as we can. So these two drills are really gonna help you if you have a problem with that. So the first of these two drills that we're gonna do is just a simple overhead med ball toss. Um, you can find anywhere from an eight to 10 pound med ball. Um, it's not really about how heavy you go. It's just pretty much just about having, having something that that you can co uh, incorporate with this drill. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start on, on two feet here just with the basic med ball above our heads. And all we're gonna do is just come down and making sure we're balancing on that front foot. And what that does, what the med ball does, it forces, it forces us to stay over top of that front leg. So ultimately when we get on the mound, we're, we can do the same thing and get more out of each and every pitch. And the last, the last drill we have today is just gonna be um, so one leg, front leg balance throw. It goes hand in hand with the med ball uh, drill that we just talked about. This is a, is a little bit more advanced. So once you get the hang of that, I encourage you to try to move on to this as well. Um, so what we're gonna do here is, again, find a partner, find a uh, net, find somewhere uh, that you can make a very low effort throw into. Um, and what, this is, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna be on our, we're gonna try to balance on our, our front leg. Um, and then after that, we don't want to try to we don't want to try to move our hips too much. Um, make sure our hips and our shoulders are working pretty independently of each other. This can also be a drill to help you work on hip to shoulder separation if that's something that you have a problem with. Um, so, but basically, what we want to do with this drill is making sure we're staying balanced through, throughout the whole turn, and then once we follow through making sure we're finishing on that firm front leg so we can get as much front leg leverage when we get on the mount as we can. That's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. That way you don't miss any more content that we have coming out for you guys. Thank you and see you soon.